Hello and welcome to Robo. Today we are going to make smartphone control robot using Bluetooth low energy. So for this we require this robot chassis which consists of two DC motors and to drive this DC motor we require a motor driver module L293D module we are using here. So this L293 module has got four outputs M1, M2, M3, M4. M1 and M2 are connected to the right motor, M3 and M4 are connected to the left motor. And there are four inputs, IN1, IN2, IN3 and IN4. So when we give IN1 and 2 high low, that means IN1 high, IN2 low, the right wheel moves forward. And when we give it low high, that means IN1 low and IN2 high, it will move backward. In similar way, if you give IN3 high and IN4 low, the left wheel will move forward. And if you give low high, then it will move backward. So in this way, it is, this driver works. And to power this entire robot, we are using a 6 volt battery pack. So I've used, I've used here 4 cells in series that will give me 6 volts. The entire robot works on 6 volts. And the controller we are using here is this. Seed Studio Shio NRF52840 Sense. So it has got Bluetooth low energy that we are going to use in this robot so that we can control it with Bluetooth. Along with that, it has got many more features like it has got inbuilt microphone, one accelerometer, and it has got USB-C type connector. It has got 11 GPIO pins. All of them support PWM. It has got six ADC channels. So there's a lot more to build with this microcontroller. But for now, we are going to build a robot. So let's start with the connections. So I'm going to connect this Seed Studio board with the driver. So yes, the connections are done. And as you can see right now I have not given it power, I have disconnected one battery. But as soon as the uploading of program is done, I will connect, give power from the battery pack to the microcontroller as well as the motor driver. So now let's move on to the Arduino IDE part. Let's make the Seed Studio boards compatible with Arduino IDE and then upload the program. So now let's open the Arduino IDE. And right now there are no Seed Studio boards added in our Arduino IDE. So to do that, you go to File. Click on preferences and here in the additional board manager URLs you can see here already we have included the ESP8266 link and ESP32 link. So all you need to do is copy the link given in the description which is for Seed Studio boards and paste it in this additional board manager's URL and separate the links with a comma. So all the boards are added to your Arduino ID. So when you hit OK. All the boards, ESP8266 board, ESP32, along with all the Seed Studio boards are added to your Arduino ID. Hit on OK. And now you need to install the boards. So you go to Tools, Board, Board Manager. And here you have to type the keyword Seed NRF52. I've already typed it. So you have to type th three times E, Seed Studio, Seed NRF. 52 and here you can see two boards two board library you have to install both of them i've already installed it so all the steps are given in the blog link is in the description and once you install these boards now we are ready to upload the program okay so this is the program bluetooth control robot and at the top you can see here arduino ble library is included so to include this library, just click on the link given in the description, the zip folder will be downloaded. And after the zip folder is downloaded, you go to sketch, include library, add zip library, and you browse to the path where the library is downloaded, the zip folder is downloaded. And then you click on the zip library, zip folder, then you click on the zip folder and hit on open, it will be installed. So once the library is installed, now let's go through the code and understand how it works. So first we included the Arduino BLE library. Then we include all the pins, we define all the pins which are connected to a microcontroller to the motor driver. So IN1 is connected to D1 of Seed Studio board, IN2 is connected to D2, IN3 is connected to D10 and IN4 is connected to D9. Okay. So in the void setup, we include serial.begin for the serial monitor. Then we set the all RGB LED as output. 
So on this board there is one RGB LED. So you don't need any extra LED for indication. You can use that onboard RGB LED. So what I have done is for forward I have kept green color. So green LED will go glow. For backward red LED will glow. And for right yellow and for left I have kept it blue. So in this way you can use the RGB LED. And I have defined for initially I have turned it off. So I have written digital right and given it high so that all are off initially. Then if Bluetooth dot begin, then if this is detected, then the Bluetooth module has failed. If it's not connected to the Bluetooth, then it will print Bluetooth module failed to connect. And we'll tap in this loop by using while one. Then BLE dot set lo local name. Here we give the name of our device. So in the BLE dot set local name, we give the device name. So this device name, what we want when we it generates its own Bluetooth network, we want its name to be RoboBot. So I've given it RoboBot here. You can give it any name of your choice. So once that's done, then these are all the functions, inbuilt functions. And this is very important, switch characteristics dot write value. So initially we are writing it zero because we don't want any other another value to be written. So initially the default value written is zero. So zero will get printed on the serial monitor when no command is sent from the application. So it will print BLE control robot. That means the void setup part is completed. Then we go to the void loop part. Here the important part is that when the device is connected to the Bluetooth, it will start printing the switch characteristics dot value variable. So whatever command we pass from the app, it will go to the switch characteristics dot value variable. So that we want to print on the serial monitor because we want to know the code for each command that we sent from our app. So for left I've kept L, for right I've kept R, for forward I've given command F, for backward B. So when I send F from the app, the code that was printed on the serial monitor was 102. And that's why I've written here if switch characters dot value is equal to 102, then I want the robot to move forward. So then the robot will move forward and as I explained to you, when IN1, IN2 is given high-low and IN3 and IN4 is also given high-low, that means both the wheel will move forward and the robot will move forward. And after a delay of 1.5 seconds, I'm stopping the robot, I'm giving all the pins low, it means the motor will stop, okay? That means it was going forward and it will stop after 1.5 seconds. In similar way, I've written for backward. So for backward, when I send B from the application, there was 98 getting printed on the serial monitor. So when the switch characters value become equal to 98, so I want the robot to move backward. So uh, yes, so I've given commands to move the robot backward. That is low, high, low, high. In one is given low, in two is given high, in three is given low, and in three is given high. After a delay, I'm stopping it because I don't want the robot to go backward infinitely and crash. So if you want the robot to go forward or backward continuously, you can comment this block okay, after the delay. In similar way for the left and right, I've done. okay. And this is the code. So now let's upload the code. Yes, so now let's select the board. Go to Tools. Here you select the board. Seed and RF52 Embed Enable Boards and select the BLE Sense board and uh, you, you have to connect it first with the USB cable so I have this USB C type cable which I will connect it to the COM port so the board is right now selected in the Arduino IDE and I will connect the board with this USB C type cable and right now as you can see I have not powered it so the robot is not getting external power to the battery pack, but it's getting power to the USB 5 volt. So I've connected the, yes, I've connected the Seed Studio board to the Arduino ID. Yes, it's showing Seed Studio, Seed Shadow BLE, NRF 52840 and COM10. Now, yes, I will hit upload. Yes, so now the program is uploaded, but right now this board is not generating its own Bluetooth network. It's not giving any signals 
so that we can detect it from a Bluetooth application. To show you, first you need to download this NRF Connect app from Play Store. And once you download it, you have to open this app, NRF Connect app. Okay. And here you can see uh, the scanning has started and our device name is not appearing. So nowhere there is our device name. Okay. So open the app. And you can see that our device name is Robobot, but that's not getting up here. For our name to appear on this app, all you need to do is open the serial monitor. And the serial monitor will print BLE control robot. So that means now the Bluetooth has started. And you can see the Robobot is now appeared on the app. We can detect it. So the app has detected Robobot. Now we'll connect to it. Okay, we'll hit on connect. And after we connect to it, you can see your unknown service. You have to click on this unknown service. And you have to click on this up arrow, upload arrow. And when you click on this up arrow, you can see a write value. Okay, so you have to select here text. So all the steps are given in the blog, link is in the description. So select here text and send the text from here L or F, F is for forward, B is for backward. So when I send F from here, I'll keep this robot on some height. So right now the board is connected, BLE board is connected to the app and we are sending the command from the app. So I'll write here F, okay, and I'll hit on send. And you can see that the wheels are moving forward. So when I send the command F, Okay, I send the command F from here. Yes, first I will select here text. And send the command F. The robot is wheels are moving forward. And send the command B. The wheels are moving backward. So in the similar way, if we send left and right, it will respond to the command. And we can also save this command. So you, you have to save each and every command. Then you just go to load and you have to select left, right, backward from the list of the save commands. You can also create it for stop. Okay. So if I select left, if I select forward here and hit on send, the robot will move forward. So right now, as you can see, when I send F from this and I clear the serial monitor, refresh the serial monitor. You can see here 102 is printed on the serial monitor. So this is the code for F. And if I send backward, and if I send backward, then you can see I will refresh the serial monitor. And you can see 98 is getting printed. And if I send left, You can see, refresh the serial monitor. You can see 108 is getting printed on the serial monitor. So in this way, these are the different codes that represent the different letters that we are sending from the app. So if to use this in the if code, you can use any code like one, two, three, okay, instead of L, R, instead of letters. So let's see the practical working of this robot on the floor. So now let's give command to move the robot forward. So we'll select here forward and send. Robot is moving forward and stopped after after 1.5 seconds. Now we'll give the command to move it backward. Now we'll give command to move it left. We'll give command to move it right. So right now you saw how the robot works on the floor. So if you found this project useful, then like this video, subscribe to Robu for more interesting electronic projects. Until next time, stay tuned with Robu. Thanks for watching.